Hey guys, it's Lisa here again. Today I'm going to show you how to organize your Google Drive. So if working from home and this remote learning has gotten you crazy with all of the documents and you can no longer find anything, today I'm gonna to show you a couple of things that you can do to help organize yourself. So we're going to first go into our drive. Now mine is pretty organized to begin with, but I do have a couple of dummy documents that I put down at the bottom just to, um, demonstrate how, how you can clean up your space a little bit. So you see here, my recent documents are always going to be at the top, followed by whatever folders that I've already made. If you have not made folders, I suggest that you do so. Now, the way that you make your folders is going to entirely depend on what type of documents you have. You can have your personal documents, your work documents, documents that you're working on with other people. Um, so for example, down here at the bottom, uh, you see I've made two dummy documents. I have a About Me poem um, from Christina in my fifth period class, which is fictitious. And here I have a Google Slides presentation from Michael from my speech class third period, which I also don't teach. So um, I, if I know that I'm going to have a lot of students submitting work to me, I do not currently have a folder for those classes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder here. Okay. And I'm gonna call it student assignments. Okay, so now I have my students assignments here. Now, one way that you can do this is by right clicking and then move to and I'm going to go down to the folder that says student assignments okay and then I'm going to click move and it's gone the other way you can do this is here like I have this google slides presentation I can just grab it left click and grab I'm going to hover over top of the student assignment folder and I'm going to drop it there. Now, you know, this might be fine if I only have two documents, but eventually, if I have multiple periods that I teach or multiple classes, I'm going to want to further organize this. So what I can now do is I can make subfolders. So right here, I'm going to click new folder, and I'm going to type in period three, I believe one of those was. And then I'm gonna make another one for period five work. Period five. Okay. So right now I have, this was third period, so I can drag. I can also right click and go to move to, but they're so close right here that I'm just going to drag them. Now, once I go into these folders, let's say that I wanted to then organize each period by the different assignments, I can do that as well. And I can make other subfolders within those folders. Now going back to my drive, um, you can notice here that I have some of my folders are colored. So if you have folders that you use all the time, that you really want to stand out to you, especially once you begin to get a bunch of folders, you might want to color them. Um, you might want to put something red that you know you use every single day. So here I have uh, important dots. I'm going to right click. And if you go here to change color, there are a bunch of color options. I can make this any color I want. I don't think I have a blue folder. Okay, so there we go. Now my important dots folder is blue. So basically, like I said, the way you set up your folders is going to entirely depend on the type of documents that you have, but you can create um, color folders and subfolders to help you organize your work. I really hope that this helped all of you. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my how-to videos. And I hope you are all doing well, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.